going on, everybody? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Sean Bitter 618, and I'm back with a very special shoe review today. Y'all don't know how special this one finna get, man, so I'm gonna need y'all to stay tuned, man. But before I get into this video, go ahead, smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, make sure y'all tap in. Every time I drop, I'm gonna stay as consistent as I can be with these videos, but this was a very important video, so I had to make sure I gave y'all this one. All right, let's just get into it. <laughs> somebody I looked up to when this shoe dropped in particular I remember Space Jam was already coming together everything was out uh, Mike was in his what he was chasing his fifth title uh, the man was in his bag he was one of the greatest but still is the greatest basketball player not LeBron but uh, one of the greatest basketball players I was walking that was when he was in his prime but this shoe in particular had came out that same year in 97 man and this probably was one of Michael Jordan's actual favorite colorways because he actually wore these shoes a lot that year and uh, one games in the playoffs in them, memorable moments in them, man. Shout out to Michael Jordan for this shoe, man. But um, this is probably one of the top five, maybe top three. Me personally, I'll give it top three, 12 colorway. But overall, I would say at least top five. You know what I'm saying? Colorways, because you got the flu games, you got the French blues, you got the, you got the uh, 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 playoffs. You got the taxis. You got many, you got, uh, you know, a lot of different 12s, but this is actually a classic of 12. Like I said, this shoe has only released in total three times. Three times since 97. So uh, they dropped in 97. Then you had a pair that dropped in 2009, which I wasn't able to get my hands on the 2009 copy because I was in the military. I wasn't thinking about shoes. But they're back now, 14 years later. We got them. All right? So. What I did this morning, let's go ahead and I just want to hold them. You know what I'm saying? I just want to hold them. But what I did this morning, man, I woke up this morning. This shoe does actually come out October 28th, which is four more days. Uh, they retail at 210. Uh, you can probably cop it on the sneaker app. But what I did this morning, I woke up and something told me, the sneaker guy at the head had told me, he told me, he said, bro, get those shoes early because you're not going to win the raffle. I didn't win the shock drop, unfortunately. But something just came into me this morning and told me to go get these find these shoes early, and I did. That's what I did. I got on the hunt this morning out here in Las Vegas, and I found them. And uh, let me give my boy a shout out real quick. Let me give my man a shout out. Shout out to uh, Legit Kicks LV, man, for right up on me. Um, we went ahead and did a great transaction, man. And yes, I got my shoe. He ended up getting his done. The shot drop, and uh, he gave me a nice little deal for these, man. One thing I can say. I love a great deal, and that's what he gave me. So make sure y'all tap in with him if y'all need any shoes, because that'd be below. But yeah, man, so I got the shoes this morning, man. I was very excited. So I'm going to still go ahead, and I'm going to try to go for a second pair, which I've heard everybody in the community saying that they're going for two pair, which that's why it's making it very hard to get these shoes. But I'm going to go ahead and go for a second pair. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, honestly. I really want to play basketball a little, but I don't play basketball too often no more. So I'm not even going to mess them up like that. I'm really just going to keep them, man, because like I said, this is a very rare shoe. Um, and I might just get two of them just because, you know, might sell it, might keep it. You just never know. But we got the shoe, man. Here it is right here. Retro Trade Twills. No fufu. All real. Straight from Shine Man 618. You know what I'm saying. Size 10. Uh, first thing I seen when he pulled the box out, though, I was like, whoa, this is a throwback looking box. Ain't got many of these in a long time. Uh, so that was the first great thing that I seen that gave me that vibe. Like, oh my God, I'm back in the 90s again. This was the original box, man, right here. Nike swoosh, you feel me? Uh, little Nike swoosh right there. You know. What that say? I'm going to read that to y'all. Engineered and built to the exact specifications of the championship athletes from around the world, which is me. You hear me? Just do it, man. But yeah, man, we got them. Man, we got them. All right, that's all I know. That's all I can say. We got them. We got them. 
got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, with that being said, y'all want to see him? Let's get into it, man. So, I had already, you know, I had to open them right before I bought them. So, they're not all spiffy on the design and the display. But, oh, this is a great shit. So, first thing that pissed me off was all this damn wrapper that was in the box. But it's all good. So, it started off with this. It ain't clean right now. As soon as I felt like a kid on Christmas when I opened things up earlier, man. But look, it started off with this little tan wrapper. You know what I'm saying? Then you got the little wire apple. And then you got the John. Yeah. 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 Man, look. Mike. You did your shit in these, man. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about let's talk about the shit that Michael Jordan did in these, man. That boy balled out. What y'all uh, the man balled out, as you can see. The man was balling now. Killing the sun. Alright. But look, man, we got the Retro 12s, man. The cherries, man. This is the most talked about shoe, I honestly would say, of the year. To be honest with you, uh, it's been a lot of great shoes that dropped in 2022. A lot of great shoes. But I feel like this is the one with the most hype on it. And uh, I knew earlier this year when they released these that was coming out this year, I knew I would get these. Like, didn't matter the price. I'm getting it. Alright, so... We got the Retro 12 Cherries, man. Looking at this shoe, man, it just brings me back into my childhood days uh, when my mom used to collect all type of Michael Jordan collectibles. That one year, the fifth championship, we had so much collectible items. Magazines with him wearing these shoes, man. This is probably one of the most memorable retros next to... The 12s. I mean, next to the 13s. To me, in the 11s. The 11, 12, and 13 is most memorable because I feel like that was when Michael Jordan was in his best basketball prime era. Uh, so, yeah, man. Uh, finally got my hands on these. It's a great shoe. Let's go ahead and get into the quality. We'll start off from the bottom and move to the top. All right. So the bottom, beautiful as always. That beautiful red bottom. Uh, and then you, you know you got all the little carbon fiber joints right here. Um, I used to look at this shoe when I was a kid so much, man. I kind of know this shoe from front to back. So, yeah, then you got the little 23 tab right here. It's kind of like, I wouldn't say clear gumish, but you could kind of see through it a little bit. Uh, it's dope, though. It's dope. Then you got the little snake print right here. Always been on the 12s, man. And look, the quality is beautiful. The quality is beautiful. It didn't come with any extra shoe strings. But nobody ever puts extra shoe strings in any of the retro 12, so they don't really need to add shoe strings to those. But yeah, they didn't come with any shoe strings. But I can't say that this right here, y'all bogus, right? Because when these first dropped, this was metal. I remember that was a great metal. I want to say it was gold, if I can remember. I might be wrong, but I remember this being metal. This is straight plastic right here. So yeah, that's a knock for it for sure. Uh, the back tab, everything is cool. Repping the Jordan brand. The back tab. Uh, and make sure y'all not buying fake shoes, all right? Because it's definitely a lot of defaults on these. The, 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 the people, the fake shoe creators can never capture how to make a perfect retro 12. So it's easy to spot a fake. Uh, so definitely just make sure you ain't got a fake. Look at the back tabs. Look at the, the toe boxes and everything. And make sure you're cool, you know what I'm saying? But overall, I love this shoe. The inside is black, which is perfect. Let's go ahead and take some of this off. Yeah, it's perfect, man, because, you know, sometimes Nike do dumb shit like make the inside white, knowing goddamn well you're going to be sweating and shit. So that's dope, man. They got the black. They, they made sure they stay true to that, put the black inside. And then you also have the uh, Jordan logo inside right there. Oh, yeah, and y'all got to stop this. Come on, man. Y'all getting too much money in Nike company to keep coming with these, man. These right here. This this shit pisses me off. You know what I'm saying? Because once I take my shoe off, then once I take the shoe out of my thing, or whatever, and I put this somewhere, my dog end up chewing this, and it be shit everywhere. Y'all got to stop with the cheap shit. Y'all getting too much money at Nike to be doing that. All right? So let's go ahead. I really want to try these on because I know they're comfortable, but I'll wait for another video for that. But, man, the shoe is incredible, man. Shout out to Nike, man, for actually bringing back great quality shoes once again, man. 
Stop holding on to these great retro shoes, man. And let's retro these motherfuckers a few more times because I love the OGs. All right? And y'all know, like I said, every video, can we please get an OG of the 18? Overall, this is a 10 out of 10 shoe. It don't get no better than this. I don't even gotta tell y'all, if you a real sneakerhead and you've been in this game since Jordan put up a jump shot in college, like me, then you understand this, man. You, it's nothing else to explain. There's no details I need to get into. You already know what the fuck it is, all right? And if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't. But this right here is a classic shoe. I'm gonna hate to have to bust these out. But I am gonna rock these because I just ordered my NBA Youngboy Supreme shirt, all white. Perfect. I'm gonna bump these out with Phil. This will probably be the first time and the last time that I wear these shoes. Uh, but overall, I hope you get them. If you don't get them, I'm sorry. Try again. But they do drop this weekend, so you do have a chance to get your hands on these retros right now. So make sure you lock in with your nearest store look. Lo you just, what's your nearest store? Because I don't shop at stores. I do the internet. Just make sure you tap in with whoever you get your shoes from in whatever city you in. I'm in Las Vegas. Yeah, I don't go to those stores. I just get it online or I buy it from somebody. You know what I'm saying? That way. But other than that, man, great shoe. Can't wait to put the shoe on. Hope you get your pair. I'm going to go for a second pair myself this weekend, man. Love, peace, prosperity. Subscribe to the channel, man. And I'll see you guys soon. Let's go!